Hello everybody, Dane Shota, certified arborist, graduated in horticulture. I'm here at Mark, Mike Garcia's house in Viroscapes. We're looking at his avocado tree and it doesn't look too well. So we've got some dieback on top. The leaves are chlorotic. And let's see what we have. So in an orchard, uh, we always need to have something on the roots. There's usually six, eight inches of actually leaves and that's um, what's covering the roots and that's your natural mulch. See what we have over here. Now it's not leaves but what kind of material is this? Mike? Compost. Compost. So we have the um, we have a, a root flare, a basal flare that comes down from the bottom of the the um, uh, from the the base of the trunk, and uh, yeah, still can't see it. But what um, we need is to have that basal flare exposed. You can have leaves on top of it, but not compost, or else we have something called called uh, crown rot and they they die it, it'll rot right at the base and die so leaves is fine but uh, compost keep it uh, three four inches away from the trunk and we have some compaction here and this is the the deepest we can get it to go and so yeah we have some compaction and also we have some things on top of the roots here so a good healthy root system goes about three times the amount of the drip line. What do you think the average person waters their trees around here in the South Bay, Mike? Uh, uh, twice a week. Twice a week. So we had this um, persimmon grove that I, I went to uh, a long time ago and this was at uh, in Riverside sandy soil and it was about 110 degrees guess how often this guy watered it the thing is with the persimmons these were pound and a half fruit I've never seen pound and a half persimmon fuis before the average is about quarter pound I asked him how did you get these fruits so big he says well when he waters it he waters it every three weeks so three weeks, I'm going, wow, in sandy soil at 110 degrees. Now, he was, he was watering them in gallons per hour emitters. And so this is very, very slow uh, fan jet emitters, micro sprinklers, that waters just like rain. But when he did water them, it was uh, about 24 hours. But it was going two to three times the amount of the drip line and he did this every three weeks and when it's time to fruit all this energy all this roots was pushing into the tree bringing pound and a half fruit so places like South Bay you really don't need to have um, to even water two to three weeks it can even go longer especially when you have the space now in the space right here we have very minimal space so um, it's hard to get that three times the amount of the drip line that uh, is the most optimum. So we are going to be, um, you know, compromising in that point and watering it more often. But we really don't have to water it too often, especially not two or three times a week. So you need to get the roots to grow. So what we're going to do with the Garden Max, this new the uh, soil treatment is to get through this compaction here so we want to actually grow organically we want to go and use beneficial microbes to actually break down the soil and bring up the nutrients into the fruit so the only way we're going to be able to do that with success is to reduce the compaction so we're going to reduce the compaction and get the soil healthy just like it is in the forest. 